Good evening and welcome to Overcomers in Christ Ministries. It is time for Bible study. Amen. Amen. I pray that you are excited about it. Let's go ahead and go before the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you and we praise you for another opportunity to come before you, another opportunity to gather together and to just worship and praise your name. God, I pray that you would be with us in this time of Bible study. Lord, um, let the Holy Spirit have his way. Just rest, rule, and abide in our hearts wherever if everyone is watching from, where they're driving, if they're at home, at work, just wherever, Lord. We know that there is no distance, you know, in you and in what you can do. So, God, I thank you for what you're going to do tonight, for that how people will be saved, set free, healed, delivered, and anything else, Lord God. And I thank you in advance for the revelation knowledge and just giving us a heart to receive and ears to hear what thus saith the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen, amen and amen. amen. Well, again, welcome to OIC. We are glad to have you with us because Wednesdays are for what? Bible study. study. And so it is our midweek empowerment service. So, um, I don't know about you all, but for a couple of us, the song that we sang on Sunday, uh, I Don't Know How I Made It Here, has been ringing in our hearts. So, we're just going to sing just a smidgen of that because I don't, uh, you don't have to play the music if you don't want to, so we don't get, you know, whatever. All right, but um, just join in with us if you remember the song. All right, here we go. I don't know how I made it here. I don't know how I made it here. But I know it was by the grace of God. I know it was by the grace of God. I don't know how I made it here. I don't know how I made it here. But I know it was by the grace of God. I know it was by the grace of God. I don't know how I made it here. I don't know how I made it here. It's by the grace of God. It's the only I don't know how I made it here. I know it was by the grace of God. I know it was by the grace of God. I don't know how I made it here. I don't know how I made it here. But I know it was by the grace of God. I know it was by the grace of God. I don't know how I made it here. I don't know how I made it here. But I know it was by the grace of God. I know it was by the grace of God. Text the word give to 
1878. Or you can use Zelle with the email address oicmpastor at gmail.com. Or you can mail it to P.O. Box 1291, Elgin, South Carolina, 29045. Are you ready to pray? Amen. Amen. Let's get our offering in our right hand. If you have <coughs> cash, device, what have you. Because we know that if you have cash, you can bring it to the house on Saturday morning during intercessory prayer. Or you can bring it Sunday morning for service at 1030 a.m. Amen. Father, we thank you and we praise you for this time of extending our worship through our giving. God, we're so grateful for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us, how you just continue to give us favor and mercy and continue to provide us with the resources that we need. Lord, I pray that this offering that we collect tonight will be used for the building of your kingdom and that we know that we're sowing into good and fertile ground. And God, just help us to increase our faith, Lord, to yes. just totally rely and trust on in you, God. We know that we can get into... Um, just being lackadaisical when it comes to just knowing on the 1st and the 15th or maybe once a month that we're expecting that check to hit. But God, we need to realize that you are our resource, God. So Our source. So thank you in advance for all the things that you've done for us that you continue to do, God. And forgive us for those times when we've taken you for granted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, let's do Psalm 91, the canopy of God's protection. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon thee, Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God for his protection and all his many promises. All right, are you ready for the word? So we know in true OIC fashion, I'm going to tell you to say what? Bring, Bring the word, word Pastor, Pastor John. John. Amen. Pastor John, it's all yours. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. What a uh, blessing it is to be in Bible study one more time. Amen. God has been good to us. Amen. Amen. The old folks used to say better to us than we have Amen. been to Amen. ourselves. Amen. Can I get one witness out yeah. there? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Truly, it's a blessing uh, to recognize and know that we're blessed and there's mm -hmm. no goodness of our, our own. own. But because of his loving kindness mm -hmm. and his tender, tender mercies, mercy. amen, that he has bestowed mm -hmm. upon us, mm -hmm. amen. We owe him the highest praise. And what is the highest praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank amen. God. 
for Jesus. Amen. I pray that you had a blessed day today. Amen. That you were uh, a blessing to somebody else. Amen. It's good that God has positioned us and blessed us for us to be a blessing. Amen. Amen. To other folks. Amen. Just to love on them and show them uh, the love of God. What he has done for me, he's able to do for them. Amen. I believe it with all of my heart. That if the world needs to see love, it needs to start from God's people. Amen. 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 I know I got some witness. Uh, those who are watching by live stream, we thank God for you. Amen. 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 Your prayers, your support, your tuning in means everything. Amen. And we pray the same blessings that are falling on us is falling in your house, falling Amen. right Amen. where you are. Amen. Signs, wonders, Amen. and and miracles, healings, amen, mm -hmm. supernatural uh, happenings, amen, mm -hmm. money looking for you amen. from the north, the south, thing. east, mm -hmm. and west, hallelujah, mm -hmm. amen, that you're finding favor with God, amen. hallelujah, we thank God for Pastor Pat, amen. amen, and all of you, amen, all of our family and friends, amen, amen. it's Bible study time, amen. Amen. Yes. Uh, we're going to do our, our uh, Bible. It's not going to be Bible trip. It's going to be our Bible. With Study a, review. Review. Amen. Oh. I got a couple of folks remember. <laughs> <laughs> our Bible study review. review. All right. So get your notes from Sunday, and then we're going to uh, pray, read the scripture, and we're going to uh, get into God's word. We got five questions for our review. Amen. Uh -huh. So I know you took good notes, Sunday. We in the midst of you shouting. Amen. <laughs> amen. According to Sunday's message, amen, you have had to, I pray that you have rehearsed it, replayed it, and have uh, uh, regurgitated. Amen. According to Sunday's message, I'm talking to you. Listen, what is destiny? Ooh. According to uh, our message, what did we share with you? What is destiny? I need my, my Bible folks and I need, amen, your notes. Come on, bring them forth. I want everybody to pass this test, this uh, review. Your preordained pass, where are you going? Amen. All right. So according <laughs> to Sunday's message, we said desti destiny is our ordained path to where we're going. Uh -huh. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's our ordained, God-given path. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, to going. where you're going. Mm -hmm. We're going. Mm -hmm. All right. I pray you got that right. Keep typing. Don't stop. All right. Mm -hmm. Number two. Where in the word uh, Bible can I find this scripture? You hear it often. For I know the plans I have for you. Where can I find that particular scripture in the Bible? In the Bible. For I know the I know. plans uh -huh. I have for you. Go ahead and start typing your answer. Amen. For I know the plans I have for you. Where is that located in the Bible? Jeremiah 29, 11. All right, we got an answer. A winner. Ooh, right. <laughs> Jeremiah 29 and 11. 11. Mm -hmm. Is that what you had? Yes, yes, sir. All right, let's keep going. What was point number one from Sunday's <laughs> message? Don't. Look at your notes on this one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What was point number one? According to Sunday's message, we are in our Bible study review. Pull your notes out. All right, let me help you because my time is moving. All right, my number one point for Sunday's message was you've been handpicked by God. Yes. All right, we got two more. Name a reason 
Joseph's brothers hated him. Mm. Yeah, name and reason why they might hate him, Joseph. His brothers hated him. What did the Bible say? Amen. One of the reasons why they hated their own brothers, Joseph. All right. Yes, you know Joseph's story. Amen. Mm -hmm. His brothers hated him. Like what was one of the reasons? Yes. And your answer is? Yes, he and their father loved him best. He was his father's favorite. Mm -hmm. and yes. Oh. He was a snitch. He was a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. All right. He, he told on them. All uh -huh. right. And so that was one of the reasons why they hated Joseph. Sister Tammy said they were haters. They were haters. Come on now. Hey. All right. If you get number five, I give you the rest of them. You got to get this one. <laughs> this is so easy. This is a true or false. Before you and I can reach our destiny, God has to prepare us. True or false. Mm-hmm. Is that true or false? Before we can get to our destiny, God has to prepare us. Amen. What are the answers? True. Yes. True. We must be prepared by God. Amen. Amen. So, amen. I pray that you did well on our Bible study review. Mm -hmm. Open your Bibles if you would to Genesis. We're going to rehearse uh, and, and review Sunday's uh, message, and we're going to go a little bit deeper. Amen. Amen. And so I'm excited. Amen. That word is still burning in my mm -hmm. heart. Mm -hmm. And as Sister Minister Shayla was singing that song, uh, this is the reason I made it here. I, I don't know why. why. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. I made it here, and I'm by the here grace of God. by the grace uh -huh. of God. That will that will preach and uh -huh. shout. Hey, yes. so when we think about all that He has brought us through. Mm -hmm. How he has brought us out. Amen. There ought to be some hands going yeah. up, some mm -hmm. mouths Come open, on. and our feet ought to testify. Ought to I'm standing on. here, uh -huh. and it's only by the, the grace, grace, grace of God. Of God. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Are you in Genesis, the 37th chapter? We're going to read the scripture, mm -hmm. and then we're going to pray. Amen. Genesis 37. Our, our main scripture for Sunday, we read from the New Living Translation, mm -hmm. uh, Genesis 37, verses 1 through 8. It says, So Jacob settled again in the land of Canaan, where his father had lived as a foreigner. This the, uh, is the account of Jacob and his family. When Joseph was 17 years old, Mm -hmm. He often tended his father's flock. Is that in your Bible? Uh -huh. He worked for his half-brothers, the sons of his father's wives, of Bilhah and Selpha. Mm -hmm. But Joseph reported to his father some of the bad things his brothers were doing. Uh-huh. Jacob loved Joseph more than any of his other children because Joseph had been born to him in his old age. So one day Joseph, uh, Jacob had a special gift made for Joseph, a beautiful robe. Mm -hmm. uh, some translation says a coat of many, many colors. colors. But his brothers hated Joseph uh -huh. because their father loved him more mm -hmm. than the rest of them. Uh -huh. They couldn't say a kind word to him. And one night Joseph had a dream and when he had told his brothers about it, amen, they hated him more than ever. Uh -huh. Listen to this, he said. We were out in the field tying up bundles of grain. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, my bundle stood up, and your bundles gathered around and bowed wow. low before mine. Mm -hmm. His brothers responded, so you think, so you, think. you will be our king, do you? Mm -hmm. Do you actually think you will reign over us? 
and they hated him. Are y'all yeah. seeing that yeah. word hate? They hated uh -huh. him. They hated him all the more because of his dreams mm -hmm. and the way he talked to or about them. Father, we thank you for your word. Father, I thank you, oh God, that your word is burning in our hearts, in our minds, on our mouth, on our Amen, tongue, Lord. in the name of Jesus. God, we are prepared listeners. Father, I pray that the anointing will break every yoke, yes, God, God, that there will be a revelation, illumination tonight, oh God. Amen. God, as we expound on your word, Father, I hide behind the cross. Speak a word, God, that will change our lives in Jesus name we pray thank God amen and amen hallelujah yes yes so we're going to rehearse and, and, and go review Sunday's message because it was powerful it was needed for such a time as this we talked about we started a series uh, this past Sunday on position for purpose. Uh -huh. Can you type that in? Uh, position for purpose. Our subtopic for Sunday was, was let God prepare you. Mm -hmm. Woo! Ooh, Hallelujah. God let God Let's prepare go. you. you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. If there, if we have a, pur a purpose, we ought to be Prepared. Prepared. Amen. And mm -hmm. so uh, we talked about how we were on God's mind uh, from the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. We are not here by accident. I don't care what mm -hmm. they have said. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not by coincidence. Amen. God, we were on God's mind. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. And by his providential hand, we we entered into the earth rim with a purpose. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you mm -hmm. and not to harm you, plans to give you yeah. hope and, and a future. future. Amen. Uh, you might want to type in, I am here on purpose. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. You were meant to be, amen. Our purpose, amen, was determined by God before we were created. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. That's why, amen, it's so vitally important that you and I, every man and woman, we ought to be connected to God, our creator. Mm -hmm. He's the one that has the plan mm -hmm. and the designs for our mm -hmm. lives. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. When we talk about purpose, and I'm moving fast, so I got a lot of ground to cover. Amen. Purpose refers to God's design, okay. his intention for each and every one. In other words, your purpose is specifically a design just for you. Yes. Your sister, your brother cannot fill in for you. Uh -huh. Amen. When God had designed and tell and made your purpose, it was for you and you, you only. It's derived from his counsel and his will. Uh -huh. It is firm and unchanging. Amen. In other words, your purpose today is not going to change tomorrow uh -huh. from God's perspective. Amen. Amen. Your plans may change right. from today and tomorrow, but his purpose will Amen. always remain Amen. the same Amen. for your life. Mm -hmm. ah, hallelujah. Yeah. And so... Amen. When we talk about God's design and God's intention for our life, amen, it becomes, our purpose becomes our assignment in life. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't go around, uh, I said it several lessons ago, just sucking up God's free air. Mm -hmm. 
with no purpose. Right. No, no ambition, not working, not using our gifts, our talents, and mm -hmm. our special specialties that God specially gave to you and mm -hmm. I. You have some things that other people don't have. Yes. And God needs you to work it out in the kingdom mm -hmm. of God. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Well, let's say he's dependent on you. To work it out, to 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 uh, uh, create and manifest it mm -hmm. in the body of Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, to get to our purpose, we got to get on the road to mm -hmm. destiny. Destiny. destiny is the journey to get to your purpose. Yes. Come on, somebody. Amen. Let me say it for the other folks. Destiny, uh -huh. amen, yeah. is our preordained path to where. We are going. going. Amen. And so purpose is, amen, purpose is what we're going to fulfill when we get to where we're going. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And we, I remember we, we mentioned Sunday, some people get stuck at pit stops. Uh -huh. Things uh -huh. on, on the journey, on the, on the road to destiny. Things that were only supposed to be temporary. Amen. We have made it a home. Uh -huh. And you're wondering why it's taking you a lifetime to get to your purpose. It's uh -huh. because you have settled Ooh, on the road up. of destiny when you should be mm. moving forward. You Somebody move type in, I need to move forward. I need to move Amen. Forward. And so this morning, uh, to, I mean, this uh, uh, tonight yeah, I Bible study, amen. amen. Uh, our first point was you've been handpicked by God. Ephesians 1 and 4 from the NIV says, For he, he chose us in him before creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight in love. Amen. Mm -hmm. No matter what has happened or going on in your life up until this day in 2023, there's nothing the devil can do to throw God's plan mm -hmm. and God's purpose for your life. Amen. Come on. You may have fallen. You may have separated from the family. You've had some hard times. But I came to tell you tonight, you've been handpicked by God. Hallelujah. Amen. And when God's hand is on your life, sisters and brothers, mm -hmm. uh, there's nothing that can stop God's purpose from prevailing. Come on. Hallelujah. Well, we, we find that out when we read the story of Joseph. Amen. 17 years old, mm -hmm. just minding his business, tending mm -hmm. to his father's plot. And, and his story is so profound. It, it goes from chapter 37 of Genesis all the way to chapter 50. Mm -hmm. My God, and he was handpicked mm -hmm. over and above all his brothers, mm -hmm. amen, for his, his purpose wasn't right where he was. His purpose was going to find him mm -hmm. in Egypt, uh -huh. Woo. amen, and when you're handpicked uh, by God, amen, uh, uh, there are some people that you are currently connected to that's not going to be able to find your, uh, be with you on your purpose journey mm -hmm. in Egypt. Mm -hmm or wherever God has designated you, you're going to have to be taken out of that area, that environment, that place where God can use you on your road to destiny because mm -hmm. right there is not, it's a toxic environment. Mm -hmm. Joseph did not understand the dreams, amen. He saw something and he was so excited he shared his dream with the very people who hated him. Mm -hmm. Lord, help. Watch who you share your dream with. Yes. Amen. And the Bible says they hated him even the oh, more. Lord. They <laughs> could not find it within their heart to say a kind word to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Little did Joseph know he would wake up one morning and, and by afternoon he was going to end up Ooh, in a pit. Lord. 
You may be on your road to destiny. You may be in one location, but when God's hand is on your life, you're not staying where you are. Yes, amen. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I, what I love about this, this story, just as God gave Joseph a glimpse of his destiny, guess what? God will give you and I a glimpse of mm. our destiny. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Before we can reach our purpose, mm. God must prepare us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Notice that Joseph did not go straight from his father's flock out in the field straight to the palace. He mm. wasn't yes. prepared for yeah, it. Amen. We, a lot of times we spend time moaning and groaning and saying, why me? And God says, why mm. Not, Not you. Yes. If you would just hearken unto me mm -hmm. and let me use you, let me shape you and mm -hmm. mold your character because every test, God is shaping and mm -hmm. molding our character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are some things, amen, we're going to have to experience and go through so that when we get to the palace of our, our purpose, we are fully prepared because we trusted God from the pit to the pot of her house to the prison. Then now, Ooh, hallelujah. One of the things, I'm so glad God doesn't give us the end of the story before we we get there because mm -hmm. many of us was I I, I can't go do that. I, 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 you mean I got to leave my home? Mm -hmm. I got to get out of my comfort zone. Oh uh, yes, yes, yes. And so God says, "Well, I got to test your character, and mm -hmm. I'm going to do it one step at a time. Because if you can trust me at point A, and you mm -hmm. learn how to depend on me, point B, point B is just going. I'm gonna turn it up just a notch." Mm -hmm. Woo. I don't know what point you are on your road to destiny, but you ought to be able to testify as Joseph was able to testify. Uh, the Lord was with me yeah. mm -hmm. from point A until I reached Egypt. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm getting happy. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And so we must remember we are handpicked by God. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. That God loves us so. He, he loves us so much that he has a plan and a purpose. And he has taken the responsibility. Mm -hmm. I, even though I called you. Even though, yes, yes, you, I got you in this situation. You didn't choose it. Watch this. Joseph's situation, he didn't choose it. God chose it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. He didn't choose for yeah. his brothers to be hating, but it, that's where he found himself. Mm -hmm. He didn't choose the pit, but that's where he, he found, found himself. And God knows throughout our journey on the road to destiny, mm -hmm. on the road of destiny, uh -huh. amen, there are going to be some unpleasant some situations right. that happen mm -hmm. that if we were just going in our own strength, we would give up. Yes, it would. This ain't worth it. The pain, the suffering, mm -hmm. the tears. I had to, can you imagine 17 years old yeah. and the people who should love you and say, I hate the ground you walk Ooh, on. Yeah. You go to church and the people that should be praying yeah. on you, praying for you and embracing you and say, I can't stand to even see you walk through the door. Mm -hmm. I Don't tell me he was so sanctified, hallelujah, Holy mm -hmm. Ghost filled that it didn't bother him. Right. It, had, it bothers us and we all mm -hmm. folk. Yeah. Right. Lord. She talking about me. That I can't understand why they just don't love me. Mm -hmm. Amen. And sometimes people have left the church. They have left where God has planted them mm -hmm. because of an issue, a circumstance. Yeah. And all they had to do is stand still and see Jeez. the salvation oh, of the, the Lord. Lord. If he mm. got me out of this one, he's going to get me oh, out of this one. Amen. 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 But now we're walking away from our God-given assignment. And God mm -hmm. said, I'm looking for the one. I'm looking for one of my sons, one of my daughters, who said, for God I live, for God I die. 
come hell or high water, mm -hmm. I'm going to fulfill the purpose mm -hmm. that you have assigned to my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell somebody, don't run from the pit. Don't run from the pit. <laughs> uh, amen. Don't run from the pit. God knows how to prepare us for purpose. Mm -hmm. You've got to understand that. God does know. Mm -hmm. We may say, God, uh, why, why this and why that? We just got to say, Lord, I thank you that I tr I'm able to trust you in the process. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. My point number two that we got to get to, amen. Uh, don't get comfortable mm -hmm. where you are. Amen. Hallelujah. First, we are handpicked by God. Uh -huh. Second, don't get comfortable where you are. Amen. Now, we see that Joseph made, he was, uh, I said he was a modern day, what we call snitch. Amen. Amen. The Bible don't, don't use it, so don't hold that against me. Amen. The Bible just says he reported to his father some of the bad things his brothers were doing. Now, if they already hate you, uh, my sister, why? It's like pouring salt on a wound. Mm -hmm. And so he wasn't winning their love and favor mm -hmm. by saying, Dad, let me tell you else what Reuben did. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what Simon did. Mm -hmm. And and so it was causing a lot of friction, mm -hmm. amen, in that situation. And the Bible says they hated him with an, uh, intense hostility. That's what Ooh, hatred Lord. is. Mm -hmm. Intense hostility. When you see that person that you're hating on, it's something bubbles up and it's, it's not good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Come when on. it's uncontrolled, watch this, when the opportunity comes from a person who hates you, their intent, it may not start it that way, but mm -hmm. when it's uncontrolled, they will look for the opportunity to injure you. Mm -hmm. yes. Sometimes that injury will lead to death. Mm -hmm. They would rather see you dead than to fulfill your God-given mm -hmm. purpose. The sad part of Joseph's story, it was his family. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh, Hallelujah. But I pray today, in spite of our family, mm -hmm. in spite of our co-workers, yeah. God got me on a road to destiny and I'm not going to let nothing and no thing stop me from fulfilling mm -hmm. the purpose God has for Hallelujah. my life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, and so when God was seeing what is happening, and he already knew I got a plan for this young man. Mm -hmm. That he got to make it to, to Egypt. If he stays in this toxic environment, mm -hmm. they, they are liable to kill him. They mm -hmm. already plotting and ploying. You thinking you they smiling in your face, mm -hmm. but they got a dagger pointed mm -hmm. at your back. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And they're getting together. How can we shut this dreamer up? Mm -hmm. how, how can we get him to shut his mouth? If he tells us one more dream, I'm not going to be responsible for mm -hmm. my action. Yeah. That's what your haters are saying. Mm -hmm. We got to find a way to shut you up and shut you down, mm -hmm. shut you out. Amen. But when God's hand is on your life, Mm -hmm. Amen. Let them talk. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. God is going to provide a way. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. uh, and there comes a time when you say, Lord, I thank you for the pit. Mm -hmm. Woo! That pit served as a path on your road to destiny to get you out of that toxic mm -hmm. environment. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 
that pit served as, uh, I'm going somewhere. God told Abram, just leave your kinfolk, leave mm -hmm. your country, and I want you to get on this road and that I will show you. Mm -hmm. Notice what God didn't do. God did not say, Abram, I'm going to lead you to a, a land flowing. I just want you to trust my leading. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so he had, Abram had to make up his mind. If God said it, it's all right with me. Yes. That's called, that, that's called that's obedience. obedience. Mm -hmm. Woo. I wonder, is God having a problem with you because you won't obey? Mm -hmm. no. I wonder, have you, uh, are you hindering your own destiny because of disobedience? Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, hallelujah. Amen. Because when when God is already working, see, we know God's character. He has uh, our best interests at heart. Mm -hmm. And if he has a plan, he's working all things. Come yeah. on, somebody say all things. All things. Together for our, our good. good. Yes, you got to go by the way of the pit, but it's going to work together for your good. Yeah. Something good's coming out of the pit because without the pit experience, he never would have met Potiphar. Uh -huh. uh, you have to go through some things. Come yeah. on, somebody type that out. I have to go through it. I had to go through uh, it. Yes, amen. And there is sometimes God will shift. Mm -hmm. You from where you are mm -hmm. to lead you, to get you on the right mm -hmm. path and in the right direction. Right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a sad commentary when a believer, a practicing believer says, I don't know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm here. Because there's a disconnect because God has a way of confirming and affirming mm -hmm. when you talk to him. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. When we get in his word, his word will illuminate. His word will reveal, amen, the heart and the mind of God. That's why it is confusing when a, confusing when a believer don't know the word of God, don't know what God is saying. That means you're trying to be on the road of destiny in your own power and in your own strength. Somebody shout, shout, it won't work. It, it won't, won't work. work. Amen. It won't work. Amen. But when God is about to shift some things in Ooh, your yes. life, amen, yeah. he just wants you to say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'll go. Amen. amen. Wherever you lead me, I amen. will follow. Amen. amen. Because I know the next pit stop, I know the next place that you're shifting to me, uh, mm -hmm. for me, is going to be for my good. Oh, my goodness. As I get closer to fulfillment. Feeling my purpose. Amen. Amen. And many times God waits until we get so uncomfortable. <laughs> Woo! Woo! It deep. looks like we're about to be overtaken, mm -hmm. overrun by our unpleasant circumstance. Mm -hmm. But God. But God. Woo! Woo! Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the good news is. We 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 never get in a place. We should never get in a place and say, "Woo, I I did that myself." No, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> when God sees you in one of them difficult, uh, unbearable situations, and we rely on Him, He wants the glory. Yes. Amen. That's why I can't understand when you open testimony service up, people that you know are struggling, mm. people that you know are going through some difficult time, they will look at you and say, I, uh, I'm cool. Mm. I ain't got nothing to say. God ain't been here. It was just a normal day. Uh -uh. If you knew what was happening behind yeah. the scenes, uh, yeah. see, you ain't been to the pit yet. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You ain't had the haters hating on you yeah. the right way. They playing with you now. Yeah. But go ahead. What the old folks say? Yeah. Keep living. Keep living. Keep on living. When your haters are going to come out the closet. Yeah. And then what you go, the song says, who are you going to call when they come, come for you? For you. <laughs> Y'all church folks don't know that. What you gonna do? Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Uh, I like how Bishop T.D. Jakes had quoted this saying. He says, the road that gives you fulfillment, mm -hmm. the road that gives you purpose and joy as it takes you to destiny, watch this, is always peppered mm -hmm. with jealousy, mm -hmm. envious, and angry people mm -hmm. whose venomous darts, ooh, this is good, mm -hmm. whose venomous darts are aimed squarely in your direction as you travel. Mm -hmm. They trying to take you out take before you, out. you reach your purpose. Mm -hmm. I love how we have a cloud of witnesses that said, I, I had I fell, I got back up, I had some bumps and bruises along, but you mm -hmm. read in uh, Hebrews the 11th chapter, the hall mm -hmm. mark faith. of fame yeah. for faith, amen, where they says we we were torn, we were sudden, we, were, we had some difficult time, but one thing, we stay connected to God. Yes. No matter what you're going through, my sisters and brothers, amen, stay connected to yes. God. Amen. And let God prepare you yes. for your purpose. Mm -hmm. Another well-known author stated, you cannot go through the door of destiny without passing through the hall of haters. Mm -hmm. So true. Haters are something uh, designed by the enemy to hinder, to block, and stop God's purpose from being fulfilled in our lives. Mm -hmm. amen. amen. But whatever we do, my sisters and brothers, amen, as we're talking and sharing with you about being positioned for purpose, mm -hmm. we must let God prepare us. Yes. How many of you really want to be prepared by God? Amen. Mm -hmm. God, I want to be ready. When I get to my purpose, I don't want to be a novice. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be unlearned to uh, hearing your voice. I don't want to be half in and half out. Mm -hmm. God, when I get to my purpose, I want to be well prepared. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So that my life, amen, can bring you joy, can bring you glory, mm -hmm. and you can get the glory out of my life. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember Mother Teresa, don't you? Mm -hmm. Amen. A common, a simple lady, amen, who learned, I mean, through hard times, learned through her suffering, mm -hmm. and, and she learned how to continue to trust God, amen, mm -hmm. even when they said, when they didn't understand why some of the decisions she made and how can she love somebody who was destitute, who was homeless, who couldn't fend for themselves. Amen. She had a glimpse of her destiny. Mm -hmm. She did not let her popularity get her off track from fulfilling the purpose God had put her on earth to fulfill. Amen. Amen. She can testify. Yes, they talked about me. Yes, they, but I would rather uh, be in the pig pen with the homeless, with the helpless, and, and be happy on the inside and knowing God is well pleased. Yes, amen. How many of us want that testimony? Mm -hmm. As long as God is well pleased. Whatever my journey consists of, whatever highs and lows I have to go through, amen. God, long as you're with me. One thing in uh, Genesis, the 39th chapter, it says, and the Lord was with Joseph. Mm -hmm. My God, that'll preach by itself. Yeah. Because when we understand the magnitude, the, the power that goes with when God is with us, mm -hmm. we can face a challenge head on. Mm -hmm. I think our bishop had a saying, if I can say it right, you can go uh, face the cohorts of hell with a water gun mm -hmm. and the fire be put out before you get there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. When God is with you. So we know we have been handpicked by God. Yes. We know that we shouldn't get comfortable where we are. Mm -hmm. My last and final point tonight, I got to share it with you. Trust God in the process. Mm -hmm. Come on, type that in. I'm going to trust God in the process. Amen. Why is that important, Pastor John? Because there is a process in under, to understanding our purpose. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. And God gives us peace by peace. Amen. He, he reveals uh, He reveals little at a time. And okay. so we, we got to learn in the process how to truly trust our God. Okay. Now, it's one thing to talk about it. But as the young people uh, say of today, we have to be about it. Mm -hmm. Amen. About it. Be about learning how to trust God. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, our bishop taught us again. When we can't trace His hand, mm -hmm. we must trust God's heart. Yes. Did, did I say it right? Yes. When we can't trace what God is doing uh, and with his hands, God leading and God, I have to trust the heart of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you and I as practicing believers begin to trust the heart of God, mm -hmm. God, yes, you led me here, but I got to trust your heart yes. that you're going to show me in the process what's my purpose. Mm -hmm. In the process on this journey, uh, on the road of destiny, amen, uh, you're going to open the eyes of my understanding. Why is that uh, uh, so significant? significant and important pastor john because we have to go to the word of god mm -hmm. in proverbs amen the third chapter y'all know this very familiar passage of scripture mm -hmm. proverbs 3 and 5 through 6 it says trust in the, the lord, lord. Uh -huh. amen with all oh. thine heart and lean not, somebody shout, lean not. Lean not. Amen. To, unto thine own understanding. Verse 6 says, in all thy ways, in everything you go through in the process, in all thy ways, when you feel like giving up, in all thy ways, acknowledge him. You got to look, shift your focus to God. Stop looking at the situation. Stop looking at the process and look at the processor. Ooh, Come on, Amen. somebody. Amen. And when we acknowledge him, the Bible says what? And he shall direct our path. He will direct our journey on this road called destiny. Mm -hmm. But we have to acknowledge him when we don't understand. How many, when was the last time you cried out to God, Lord, I trust you in this process. Yes, come on. Things are falling apart, seem like all around me. I, I don't understand. I can't comprehend it. The Bible says, in all your ways, acknowledge. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I could just acknowledge him. Uh, God, I, 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 I can feel your presence. I, I may not have uh, my hearing. It may not may be uh, somewhat blocked, but I can sense your presence. Mm -hmm. and, and if I can't hear you, if I can't sense you, I know without a shadow of doubt that you are in me. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. And you are with me just as you were with Joseph. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. But the good news is, amen, in every situation, amen, we must turn to God mm -hmm. for direction in this process. And sometimes that, it sounds easy, but when we want to do what we want to do, mm -hmm. And try to answer our own problems and be uh, find our own solution. Mm -hmm. it, it, that becomes a challenge. Yes. yes. Because again, when we are disobedient to what God is trying to teach us, mm -hmm. there comes a time when you're want, you're going around that same mm -hmm. mountain mm -hmm. for forty years. Lord help. Because of disobedience, you mm -hmm. want to do it your way, and God says. Oh, your purpose, you're going to have to do it my way. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, see, just as we preached or ministered several Sundays ago, your story, but his glory. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And he's the one that's shaping and molding us. Amen. Every test, Mm -hmm. amen, is for his glory. Will you pass the test tonight? Mm -hmm. Will you say, Lord, I'm tired of fighting against where you're leading me. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm tired of, uh, of kicking against the prick. Saul's purpose wasn't for him to persecute the church. That was not his God-given purpose. Mm-hmm. But he got on that road thinking he was doing right. Mm-hmm. You have people today, even in the church, they're doing things, as Sister Shayla always oh, said, no. all, all the, the things. things. But all the things aren't what God has designed for the life. Mm-hmm. But it ha- we have to get to a place where we just give up. Not my will, uh-huh. but your mm-hmm. will be done. Peter and his boys were fishing. Mm-hmm. Amen. And when Jesus came along, he says, let's launch out into the deep and, and cast the nets. And Peter the spokesman, you know, he's going to say something. Mm-hmm. Lord, let me, let me tell you what's going on. <laughs> this is what he said. Okay. We have toiled mm-hmm. all night. Mm-hmm. And you you telling us, mm-hmm. go back out. Right. We about tired. Right. Oh, <laughs> we, we about done had enough for one day. But but he recognized who he was talking right. to. Mm-hmm. And he came up with another less. <laughs> I'm about to get happy myself. Uh-huh. <laughs> We need some practicing believers that says, God, I don't understand the process, Mm -hmm. but nevertheless. Can somebody type in, nevertheless? Hallelujah. Lord, I trust you in the process. Nevertheless. Amen. I'm going through. I'm going to make it. Uh, Joseph, I'm sure, had to encourage himself in the Lord. Lord. Uh, He probably didn't cry in front of his brothers, Mm -hmm. but in his closet. He had to have a little talk with Mm -hmm. Jesus. You may have some trouble in your situation on your road to destiny, but just have a little talk talk with with Jesus. Jesus. Uh You may have to cry out sometimes and come out with Never the less. I'm going to make it yeah. on my road to, to destiny. Yes. I pray this lesson has been a blessing to you. Amen. Amen. That where you are, don't get comfortable. Because yes. when mm-hmm. God begins to shift, you yes. got to move. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. You've been handpicked by God. Uh, but Lord, does it have to be me? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, it has to be you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Just settle that in mm-hmm. your spirit. Uh-huh. I came to tell you and I'll close. Destiny is the journey that consists of pain, mm-hmm. suffering, mm-hmm. and many trials. Uh-huh. Pastor John, can I get to my purpose without trouble? The answer would be no. The answer would be go to God. He'll tell you all. Mm -hmm. Amen. But when if Jesus had to go through, guess Mm -hmm. what? We have to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We learn obedience by the suffering that we have to go through. Mm -hmm. Jesus learned obedience by suffering. Mm -hmm. Amen. Tonight, I pray that you will stay in the process as you are positioned for your God-given purpose in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for your word tonight. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. God, is nobody but you that order our steps. God, I pray tonight that as we align ourselves with your will, as we align our mind, our heart, our spirit with your word, You will show us your way, oh God. Mm -hmm. Father, I pray that you will put a yes, Lord, an eternal yes, Lord, in our heart. As we trust you in this process on our road to destiny, leading us to our purpose. God, every trial, every pain, all the suffering, all of our haters, God, you're working it together for our good. Mm -hmm. And God, that man and woman who was about to give up, God, I pray as they have heard, with not with their ears, but with their heart, with their Mm -hmm. spirit tonight, God, that they will reevaluate where they are and say, you know what? I was about to throw in the towel, Mm -hmm. but nevertheless. 
I'm going to get hold of God's plan for my life. And I'm going to run until I can't run no more. Until I fulfill the purpose mm -hmm. that God has placed me here for. And Father, I thank you now for being faithful to each and every one of us, God, in spite of the pain, yes, in spite of all the discomfort, the ups and downs, God. Mm -hmm. We thank you tonight thank you. that you are trustworthy. Yes. We can bring all of our problems, all of our issues tonight in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that we will have a blessed rest of the week mm -hmm. that only you can give us in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. You may get tired and weary on this journey, but know that God is with you mm -hmm. because he wants to position you for your purpose. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And when your purpose is fulfilled, mm -hmm. there's an inner joy that the world cannot take from you. There's an inner peace. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That the world cannot take from you. And the, the, the most important thing, you're in God's perfect will. Amen. Hallelujah. And I thank God for his word tonight. Amen. Let's govern ourselves according to the, uh, our announcements. Mm -hmm. Amen. We thank God for the visitors and all those who have joined us. Sunday, my heart is still burning. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I pray that the rest of your week will be blessed and highly favored. Amen. Amen. Now may the, the grace, grace of God, God the, the love of God, God the sweet, sweet communion of the Holy Ghost, rest, rule, and abide with you all, both now and forever. Amen and amen. We love you. God bless you.